So I'm just doing this quick check-in to make sure everyone is breathing. Hi, I'm Aretha and welcome back to my vlog. This is going to be the start of my meal prep, but before I start meal prep, I wanted to talk about the super creamers, the Kai Tu super creamers in their coffee. Um, this is not a sponsored video. So um, it's really hard when you're lactose intolerant and you're looking at recipes and everything is cream this, cream that, so high in dairy. It's nice to be able to find something that is really good in keto that does not have all that lactose in it. So these creamers are so good. Um, this one is the sweet cream, and I've had their original, which is delicious. I've had all their flavors of coffee, which is just amazing. Again, even if you're not lactose intolerant or dairy sensitive, these products are amazing. This tastes amazing. And um, I have had some of the lactose-free half and half. But to me, this is a lot creamier. And you will be seeing me using this to make some different recipes. So I'm going to leave a link for the super creamer in my um, description box. And you can go check them out and get on their email list because they do from time to time send out different discount codes. So we're going to actually start getting into the meal prep now. Our meal prep. And I'll be showing you what I'm going to be having for my meals. So I'm going to start off with what's in this bag. I have um, some skirt steak marinating. And my thought it would be nice to have it maybe on a salad or like a fajita dish. And who knows what else. This right here is some breakfast sausage. I have really been craving some biscuits and gravy, so this will be part of the gravy for my biscuits and gravy. And I got this from Costco, some baby back ribs. So I think we're going to be set for our meals for a couple of days. Oh, and I don't want to forget this. I have the cream cheese sitting out because we're going to be making poppers. So that's going to be it. I am actually going to get started on trying to make the um, gravy and I will be back with you guys. All right, we are gonna get started with the sausage gravy. So right now I have my pan, it's getting warm. Here's my sausage. Ugh. Get the sausage broken up here. And I will be right back with you guys. Okay, I've got the sausage almost scrambled up here. And the sausage itself has a really good flavor. So what I'm going to do is more than likely, I'm not going to add too much spices to it. And I'm going to actually remove some of the sausage.
Okay. I'm going to add the sweet cream and I've added some black pepper to it. You can see it looks a little, let me see if you can see this really well. There. I might have to add some more pepper. I like my gravy really peppery, so let's try to to this. Be right back. Okay, here it is. I've added some water. Let's see if you can see this. There's the gravy. So this dish is officially ready. My sausage and gravy. And more than likely, since it's Friday, I will be making the biscuits in the morning on Saturday. So they'll be nice and fresh. I don't mind making my gravy early because the longer it sits, the better it is when you reheat it. There it is. Yum. Good morning, good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to my vlog, my meal prep vlog. Um, my name is Aretha and I try to follow a ketogenic diet. Um, it's not your standard ketogenic diet because of some of the metabolic issues I have and entering into menopause. And the ketogenic diet is flexible enough to suit the needs of your body. Um, sometimes I will, on occasions, do my um, carnivore diet, a fat fast. I do meaty Mondays and a whole lot of things in between. Thank you for joining me. And I hope that you um, find some information that's really very useful for you. So, again, welcome, welcome to the family. So, um, I started yesterday on Friday doing some meal prep, and it's just going to continue on. Um, I'm going to be pulling breakfast together. I'll be showing you guys what I'm doing. And I'm going to do a very quick check-in. I want to make sure everyone is doing okay mentally, and physically you're doing okay so just doing this quick check-in to make sure everyone is breathing you're breathing you're taking care of yourself you're taking care of your family you're staying in much as possible and hopefully you're not stressing too much we are all in this together. We will get through it. Yes, it is difficult. We've never been through this before, but through love, understanding, and patience, we can do this. So let me know below how you're doing and what kind of support do you need and if I can help you in any way. So with that said, I've actually already had um, a cup of coffee. And if you remember correctly, I said I will be shopping for my downstairs freezer. That's what I'm doing. And occasionally I have to go out and buy some fresh produce. I have a lot of stuff I need to use up. And that is what I intend to do. So I started on another syrup and I got tons of these syrups and they don't um to my knowledge bother me so 
When I had my coffee earlier, it was this one. Let me see if you can see this. Um, let's see. I'm going to start pulling my breakfast together. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And um, we'll just keep going from there. See you in a bit. Okay, we're just going to keep this going. You saw yesterday where I made some gravy. So now it's time to make the biscuits, and I've made them with you before. It's super simple. Um, what I'm going to do is get some cheddar cheese, and it's not going to be a lot, believe me. So this is a one cup measuring, and, and there's no way I'm going to use one cup. Probably a quarter of it. So, this is all that I'm using of it. It's about a quarter of a cup. And let's get this in the bowl. And here's my almond flour. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and do two and a half cups of it and see what the bread gets me. to get the um, big baking powder. I forgot that. All right, here's my baking powder. All righty. So, we have the quarter cup of cheese, two and a half cups of almond flour, and about a tablespoon of baking powder. So I have my butter and it's slightly melted. Um, I also have some apple cider vinegar and I'm going to use about a tablespoon of pour it into the butter. And we have some salt. I'm not going to salt it too much because we do have the cheese. And we have we are using um, salted butter. So just a little bit of salt. And we have one large egg. So we're going to start putting this together. I'm going to just kind of combine the butter and apple cider vinegar a little bit. Pour that in. Let's get all this combined. Okay, so this is what my batter is looking like. I want you to see it. It's a little bit more wet than I would like, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a little bit more almond flour. It's about another quarter cup. So 
So I'm gonna get it incorporated here. Okay, it's nice and incorporated. And this is what it's looking like. It's a lot more firmer. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure I get this in the pan into the oven. I'm gonna make them into semi balls. But because it still is a little bit of a wet batter, I'm gonna get some water in here to wet my hands so I can roll them so it does not stick. Okay, and here's my pan. size. Just put them in. Just pat them out a little bit. And you want to wet your hands every so often so it does not stick. Okay, I'm going to finish rolling these up and I will show you what they look like before I stick them in the oven at 350 degrees. All right, you guys, this is what the final product looks like. These, again, will go into the oven 350 until they are kind of nice and brown on top. And then I will show you what they look like, and I probably will have my breakfast pulled together by then. So, we'll be right back. Okay, here are the biscuits now that they're done. And here is my breakfast. So I have some of the sausage gravy, two little biscuits, and a lonely little sausage. And I'm going to eat this down, and we will be getting um, back into meal prep. And I will see you then. Okay, everyone. I am back, and here is the poppers. And the New York Strip steaks. They came out really good. So what I am going to do for my final meal, I will probably have the New York Strips over a bed of lettuce and call it a day. But if I have anything else, I will be sure to pop back in and let you guys know. But I hope you've gotten some ideas for what you can do for a meal prep. And um, thank you so much for um, following me on my journey and watching this um, video. You guys are the best. I will be back with more videos. And I have not forgotten, I do owe you guys um, a Dirty Keto video. And I'll be thinking of what I will be doing for my Dirty Keto video. So I will be seeing you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,